Happy New South Africa's official submission to the 2014 Academy Awards in the Best Foreign Language Film category opens at South African Cinemas this coming Friday, the 28th of March. And it's called Four Corners. It's a hard-hitting, coming-of-age drama about gang life in South Africa. Here's a sneak peek. Who is this? It's the king. The king lives forever. I think so, yeah. He's done to dance and I'm letting him go. Chief, mate. It was there was any fear of good nose here. Oh. No, I screwed it here. What are they doing? I'm just chasing people. There's nothing to keep me here, really. I haven't spoken to my father for five years. Lee? Lee Marvin? Well, it's what I can now. I heard you went to prison. Catch me in jail. Stop. My father said, you do you can see. And he posted the fear. No, I'm not going to be Ken zei Daniel nie gevier in twintig. Daar is die bere, daar is profesie. That hasn't got you sitting up straight and waiting to watch this movie on the 28th of March. I don't know what it is or what we'll do. 28th, 28th of March, I said, uh, it's called Four Corners. And we're honored this morning to have with us uh, Ian Gabriel, the director of the film, uh, Jezreel Ske, who plays the character of Ricardo, and Abdurrahman Adams, who plays Tito in the movie. Welcome, gentlemen. It's great to have you here. Thank you for taking great the time. To be here. Thank you. Ian, I'm going to talk to you first. I mean, this was all your idea. The film was your idea. Yeah. Why did you decide to make this movie? Well, you know, um Every, every day or every couple of days, you read an article about what's happening in the flats. Uh, there's a lot of stories about gang violence and particularly about uh, young people and gang violence and what happens when young people are caught in the crossfire, mm -hmm. as they often are. Um, so I think it's a, it's a, a very important um, film to be making. Um, and really, it, I think it refers not only to the Cape Flats, although it's specifically about the Cape Flats, but also to marginal societies right across South Africa. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, a topic that needed to be taken on yeah, to be yeah, addressed. Yeah. Now, Jezreel, you're a first-time actor, as I understand, right? Yeah. And so, I mean, this is South Africa's official submission to the 2014 yeah. uh, Academy Awards. You, you're part of a big-time movie. What was it like for you to be working with professional actors, professional directors, crews? It was a new experience. Uh, it was really exciting, you know. Uh, like I said, it was my first acting, acting experience, so uh, everything was really new to me, you know. Um, Everyone was really supportive. Yeah. I think all the professional actors were really, really mentors to us. So I didn't have to do a lot of research. I think we got help mm -hmm. with everyone on set, you know, and then I just had to reconnect with my culture and everyone, you know, helped me yeah. do that. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about your, your character. You play Ricardo, right? Yes. Ricardo, he is a typical Cape Town story. Uh, he doesn't know his parents um, and he, he has a special quality about him and it's chess. And what he does is he uses chess in everyday life. So his life practically becomes his chessboard. Wow. You know, um, and he does, what he doesn't know is he has a father that's coming to look for him, uh, who's also involved in the gangs. He's a, a general. Yeah. And he obviously wants to start a new life with me and come and find me, but I don't know that yet. So I obviously got, get caught in gangsterism. Um, and I think I use chess in making decisions, you yeah. know, uh, leading to either good parts or bad parts wow. and 
I must I say, for somebody yeah. who, who didn't do research, you know your character yeah. very, very, very well. Yeah. Very well. <laughs> Mr. Adams, you play a character that's also very significant in the story because, mm. you know, the, the police are the peacekeepers versus mm. the, the, the violence instigators in, mm -hmm. in that kind of community that we're looking at in the movie. Tell me a bit more about your character and how you went on into kind of harnessing that character in, in, in the movie. Um, uh, well, you know, I believe in, in, in doing if I can call it proper research, you know, before I take on any character. So what I did was I did speak to a whole lot of cops. Mm. I was busy directing a one-man show at, uh, at that uh, present moment. Um, and uh, my actor had done a whole lot of research, so I also tapped, yeah, you know, into that. Um, but as for my character and as for Tito, um, he is kind of a sad, he's a sad dude, you know. He's been working on the force for, 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 for many years. Yeah. He's, it's understaffed, it's, um, he's uh, investigating a series of, of, of child murders and that, you know, set amidst the, the background of, of, of gangsterism. Um, but yeah, if I can just say one thing, you yeah. know, uh, 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 everyone calls it a crime thriller, a gangster movie, and I think all those elements are there, but I think that people should not lose um, um, sight of the fact that it's also a celebration of survival, um, uh, uh, it also, for me personally, you know, in terms of where I come from and my, and my history, it's also about uh, where we were, were forced to go and live and mm -hmm. how that played out, you know, to yeah. where, where our townships are today. Just finally, and a quick wrap-up, uh, Ian, who do you think should go out and watch this movie? Who is it relevant to? I think it's relevant to all South Africans. Um, it's about our life now. It's not about the past, not even about the future. It's about now. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much for bringing this movie to us, gentlemen. And uh, good luck. May it rack up the millions. And may we see that Academy Award coming your way. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Fantastic Thank stuff. You. It's Thanks. called yeah. Four Corners. And it's going to be uh, in cinemas nationwide on Friday, the 28th of March. Make sure that you go out there and support local talent, support this local film. It's really, really great by the looks of the trailers and the posters and everything else that goes with it. But stay tuned. We'll be back with more on your feel-good breakfast show.